In this video, I'll talk about the acid digestion process for uh, animal tissues for heavy metal analysis in the atomic absorption spectrometer. So this was my MPhil thesis and based on this thesis, I wrote this publication. This was the dissection protocol that was followed. I studied different methodologies and uh, I followed the methodology which suited best for my interests uh, under my lab conditions and limitations. You can also pause this video and uh, see the reference papers and uh, study them according to your needs and interests. So the list of apparatus that is required to complete the process of acid digestion is on your screen. But first you have to clean it through 70% alcohol and deionized water. First I have to place the necessary apparatus on where it's required so it would be easy to carry out the process. I got my notebook, laptop, all the scales and uh, necessary equipment is present on its place so uh, the process would done quite easily. Um, these are the volumetric floss. Uh, the digital water is already present in them. So it would be easy to clean the volumetric floss when the process is being done. These are the clay pots in which the heat is provided uh, for the tissue to get digested. Uh, the taps are working, the pets are fed, everything is okay. And uh, then you move on to uh, keep the apparatus check. I mean the all the hot plates are preheated, the clay pots are heated, everything must be placed so the process done equally uh, without any uh, delay. Uh, these are these were my specimen. I worked on the wild hair, so I got the specimen out. These are the dissected specimens. So I got all, each organ and each tissue in separate plastic bags. Uh, after the section, I freezed those organs uh, and in the refrigerator, and I have to thaw them at room temperature so the acidization process can be done. Switch on the scale, see if it, everything is working all right. Uh, first, I have to weigh the specimens and weigh all the organs and uh, make sure that uh, the required amount is uh, added for the heating process for digestion and uh, i note all the uh, weights of all the specimen because these were later used to calculate um, the amount of heavy metals per gram tissue so these units are extremely necessary in this uh, you can see that i've been following the process that I have already described here on the digital scale I get it done then I move forward step by step with everything um, these are some uh, uh, apparatus to cut the tissue into pieces I mean small pieces so that can be used into the process of digestion of course you cannot use all the tissue all the river of a uh, hair because it would take, uh, you have to dilute the process, heat the process, digest it, uh, so the heavy metals could be detected into them. Weigh all the uh, clay parts, tear them, and then the required amount of tissue is added. So this gives you the exact amount of the weight of the tissue, which is used in the process for acid digestion. As you can see that uh, I am well prepared for this process. Everything is labeled, all the volumetric floss, all the clay pots, my notebook, everything is properly labeled. Micro papers and regular papers and all the chemicals are placed where they are required. So I don't have to reach for them. It saves a lot of time. So more time is given for the preparation than during the process. So everything is placed in the, uh, in the clay pots, all the organs that are required are placed into their respective labeled clay pot. The chemicals are being slowly added as per protocol and then these chemicals uh, would be used on the clay pots. So first the acids were added, then the deionized digestion water which was freshly prepared was added into them. They were covered so uh, maximum heat would allow the quick digestion process and uh, as you can see that the uh, scale was preheated and uh, now it has been used for the acid digestion after a while i mean the as you follow the protocol uh, you can see that the tissue is completely digested and uh, has become the part with the uh, with the acid and the deionized water so the steps isn't over yet you have to uh, further dilute the process i mean check if the water level is uh, low add more water 
the consistency and if uh, there are little particles of the tissue uh, tissues in the water and the acid you have to see and you have to add more water and give more heat so make them uh, uh, a lot more consistent in their appearance so the water and the acid is being constantly added the heat is being constantly provided according to the protocol and uh, uh, after a few a uh, few minutes you note down the time you note down all the extra material that you've been adding and uh, according to part of the protocol you follow the experiment and uh, finally this kind of uh, optical property has been observed you can see that the, the regular consistency which is balanced in all the samples has been achieved so this should be the final uh, pro uh, sample that you should gain you wait and uh, you all do all the calculations and formulas that was already given in the reference papers you follow them in detail give particular attention to the labeling and the notes and their connectivity so here are some of the tips which is extremely beneficial for me throughout this process you can pause this video and follow them now as the digestion process is completed it's time to move on with the volumetrics flaws and use the sample and uh, measure them first in the graduated cylinder and uh, note down according to its label on your notebook then use deionized water to dilute it further as you can see here that uh, deionized water is slowly being added to dilute the sample and uh, reach to the required amount which in this case is about a hundred ml and uh, then you take the sample and add it into its respective volumetric flocks um so uh, before doing that you have to first add the um filter paper there to filter the sample so all that uh, impurities would uh, would not add into the final sample and uh, this is the sample which would be taken to the uh, spectrometer for further analysis of the uh, process um so as you can see that all the volumetric flaws with the required samples are finally prepared and uh, these small glass uh, bottles are finally used and they would be taken to the spectrometer for the final analysis and uh, for study of heavy metals in the atomic absorption uh, rest of the sample would be preserved so if uh, somehow this sample uh, gets uh, uh, somehow gets lost we can use the already stored sample for further uh, analysis and references so uh, here is my box where i have uh, labeled everything uh, so there would not be any confusion when i do the sampling so most of the process that i have uh, described here is more about the preparation than about the uh, actual process you are, if you are prepared well for the process of course you'll get success so here are some tips which were extremely beneficial for me during the filtration and dilution process and uh, you can see here these are my original notes you can pause the pause them and study them they might help you uh, during your process also and uh, these were the some of the final results and uh, this is how you do the acid digestion process